So we are doing uh, graphs and we are doing tables. And one thing that I wanted it to do was um, immediately tell me right or wrong for a table. So if I have a student that's working on a table, go ahead and put my X, my Y, um, and then I would fill in my table. All right, and then let's say I wanted them to tell me my Y intercept. All right, so I want them to immediately tell me my Y intercept. So right now, if I go to preview, whatever answer they put in is just going to be an answer. I see a dot. All right, so I want to know right or wrong. So for this, if I go back and really quickly change this to correct this dot, cell numerical value um, and so then I need to tell it the cell so what it's first going to look at is the row so it's my fourth row second column and that equals zero so done okay so it's going to look so it does not count your headers x and y are not counted um, or whatever header you put up there so then I count one two three four row four column two so now if I go to preview and I put in a 3, you'll see it changes to an X. I put in a 2, changes to an X. I put in a 0, and it changes to a check mark. So this is a really easy way for you to um, immediately know if students have it or not. Um, the one downside to this is with just the basic programming of that, um, the computational layer, if a student were to do something like this, um, it's still going to mark it correct because it's evaluating it in the evaluated um, answer is still zero. So that's the only thing. There is more coding that you can add to it so that they can't actually do that part. Um, but as long as they have zero or the equivalent of zero, then it is going to mark it correct.